So on the day of your surgery, you're going to be greeted by a nurse who's going to bring you back to the procedure room and make you most comfortable. She'll ask you some very basic preoperative questions, and then we'll come in and meet you um, as the surgeon. And we'll mark out the site and verify the correct location with you and go through the procedure that you're about to experience. Um, the most anxiety that patients have is regarding the numbing medicine, actually. That could be um, a painful part of the procedure. But our nurses that provide the numbing medications are very well trained and do it very gently and very slowly. Oftentimes we have patients who say how happy they are that they weren't even able to feel the injection compared to when the biopsy was done. Um, so this is something that we really pride ourselves on, on very, being very gentle and going very slow with the numbing medication. Um, after that, we'll remove the, the tumor and we'll process it in the lab. And from that point on, really a lot of the time is spent just waiting for that tissue to process while we make the microscope slides. And we look at those slides under the microscope and determine whether or not we got all the cancer cells out. If we did, that's great. We'll put in some stitches and you'll be on your way for the day. But oftentimes we have to come back and take a second or a third stage, in which case we track out those microscopic cancer cells that we can't see on the surface. The skin looks completely normal, but there are a few cells tracking out, almost like a tree trunk with roots, um, that we can go back and we know exactly where to take a little bit more tissue and process that in our lab. And again, it's a little bit of a wait. The most surgery procedure really has two main components. The first is to remove the cancer while trying to keep that wound as small as physically possible. The second part of the procedure is to repair the defect that's left behind from the removal of the skin cancer. Repairing that defect is the reconstructive part of the procedure. About 99% of the cases, Dr. Brady or myself are able to repair while you're comfortably awake in our clinic. The other 1% involve coordinating that case with either an oculoplastic or a plastic surgeon. This sometimes is arranged prior to your surgery, but in certain situations, these skin cancers can be, can be unpredictable and be much larger than expected. In these situations, we rely on our plastic surgeons who we work very closely with that are on call for us every day. So no matter how big or where your wound is located, we always have somebody that's going to take great care of you. So both myself and Dr. Brady completed uh, ACGME approved fellowship training programs in Mohs surgery. Uh, this is really important to know because in order to do Mohs surgery, there's really several ways you can go about it. You can have absolutely no training um, you can take a weekend course, or you can go through a rigorous ACGME approved fellowship, with bo which both Dr. Brady and myself did. Uh, during this year, we do thousands of surgical procedures, treating skin cancers all over the body, working with all different specialties, um, really kind of honing our skills and um, becoming the best that we can be at doing what we do. And we really pride ourselves on that, and we treat every patient as if they're our own family member. And you will be taken extremely well care of when you're under our care.